So here we have two different situations of a mature pothos and what can happen to it. So you can see they both have pretty thick stems. This one I let trail and if you let it trail it reverts back to juvenile. So this one I didn't want it to revert so I set it up against this wood pole and look at that we've got him mounted. So now he has this pole and he can help use it to strengthen his core and pull him upright which will help make his leaves bigger. And you don't have to have a moss pole or anything like that. They can go up against any hard structure. So now we're only on our fourth leaf here. And compared to that guy's size, it's only gonna go up from here. Hey everyone, my mom's here visiting from Wisconsin uh -huh. and she is not a plant person. And so today I'm going to have her guess how much some of these rare house plants cost me. Um, $3.95. $3.95. Oh gosh, that's just a starter. So, uh, probably $2.75. $2.75. Okay. Uh, $6.95 for the big leaves, yes. <laughs> now, does the pot come with it or no, just no the plant? Just okay. the plant. Just that plant, um, $6.50. Well, it does have big leaves like the other one, so $7.95. I got this green Hartley philodendron for $170 for this cutting. So pretty. And I got this Monstera at a local plant nursery for $789. And I got this stuffed animal that's not even alive and it's not even a plant, but it looks like a plant. And I paid $2,561 for it. Once your cutting has roots and a new growth, you're ready to start mounting. Go ahead and pick a structure and put it up against the new growth along its natural curve. Here's another with lots of roots and I'm showing you a moss pole. You'll wanna pack the dirt in there nice and tight so it's sturdy. And I do use moss poles a lot. I didn't say they were bad. I just said that you don't have to use them. And here's why I actually like moss poles. Once they're done, you'll see they're sitting nice and firm. You don't have to add something to attach it, but you know, some people just like the extra stability. And there you have it. I know moss poles aren't everyone's cup of tea, so let's test out some different things and see if pothos will climb. Here we have a picture, a plastic tray, the blade of a fan, and a pool noodle. So we'll see if Pothos will mount to any of these. It's been about a week. We've got the aerial roots on the picture frame touching up against it, but no official mounting yet. I think that one will work though. Got the same thing for the pool noodle, aerial roots right about touching it, but hasn't mounted yet. Fan blade, this guy really likes him. Of course it is wood, but wood with some paint over it. But it just goes to show you, you can get creative with your climbing structures. And this plastic tray, uh, nothing quite yet. So stay tuned for more updates. If you're kind of bored with just your normal Golden's variegation and you are okay burning your leaves alive, the main ones, they will burn alive. You can put it outside in a place that gets direct sun from about 7 to 9 a.m. This spot on my porch gets sun from seven to nine and then it's shaded the rest of the day in complete shade. And you could see how it has a much brighter yellow. This strand has been growing in the same spot for probably about two months now. And let me tell you, he is a beauty. Look at that leaf. It is just gorgeous. Make sure the plant is well established, it needs roots to help it survive. If you have a brand new cutting, you're just gonna burn the leaf, dry out the roots, water well. I have 
my mom, Jane, back with us again tonight to find out the actual prices of the plants she guessed yesterday. You guessed that this one cost $3.95. Okay. Actual retail price, $10. That's a lot. <laughs> Princess, at $2.75, careful. You were only off by two decimal points. Actual retail price, $274.95. What? Did you leave? Big leaves, yes. Big leaves, big money. Okay. <laughs> you said six ninety five. Actual retail price is three hundred and seventy five dollars. Wow. Why? Speckles. Okay. I, I don't know. Princess philodendron without the pot. You guessed six dollars and fifty cents. Actual retail price hmm. five hundred and twenty five dollars. Oh, come on. Look at this. It's got, it's got $500 without a, without a pot. It's got a $7 and 95 cents. Okay. Actual retail price, $1,350. Why? Why? Why it's have a, a plant it's in, that expensive? It, oh my gosh. Come on. It looks like it's dying. It's white. It's white bulls. Oh my God. Welcome back to Plants Anonymous. Today we're doing another unboxing video. So let's get into it. Okay, so I got this from a seller on Etsy and I will put their shop in the comments, but I saw another plant person on TikTok have this and when he unboxed it, I absolutely fell in love with it. So I had to get one and I got one. So it is the Syngonium Trilee Wonder and it is beautiful and I'm a big fan of Syngoniums, um, so I had to get it. And it reminds me of the Philodendron 69686 with the two little bunny ear leaves and then the one long leaf in the middle. And um, it is so cute, so awesome. If you do not have one, I recommend you getting one. You will not regret it. They're so beautiful to look at. I'm so happy to have it in my collection. Thanks for watching the video. Watch me turn these dollar store rollers into this and into this. Okay, for this project, all you're going to need is your rollers, your dip size, and then also a knife to start out with. First thing you're going to do is cut the Velcro off the rollers. One cut, a few pulls, and then it'll look something like this. Super clean, super easy. Next, you want to line up your rollers together, so thick line together. And then you want to add one zip tie on the top and then one on the bottom of each roller. I did a total of three zip ties per roller that I was connecting. First, you want to make sure you get all three of the zip ties in, and then you're going to want to tighten them all kind of together before you lock them all into place. Next, you want to cut the excess off the zip tie just like this super easy three cuts and you're done for each roller and then it's going to look something like this when it's complete beautiful next you're going to get your two zip ties for your bottom part here so when you do fill it up with your sphagnum moss or your leca or whatever you're going to use it does not fall out next you want to get your leca or your sphagnum moss that you're going to use fill up your pole um, next you're going to want to get your pot here and fill it up to the height that you want um, I'm using LECA, so I'm going to fill it all the way up to LECA, put my plant in there, get it nice and tight. Next, you want to get some twine, make sure it is nice and secure, and then put it in your pot, and that is it. Look at that. $5 I spent on this. Super easy, and you can extend it once your plant grows. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Oh, I didn't see you there with all this variegation and fenestration. I got a new plant. <laughs> this is a great question. I fertilize all my plants that are in LECA about once a month. Every time I do flush the LECA, um, I do the, about the bare minimum when it comes to fertilizer, but all my plants are thriving and I continue to do it this way. And I hope this helps with anybody that has questions about fertilizer for LECA. IKEA greenhouse, let's talk. Is it worth it? Was it overhyped? Do you want one? Do you have one? Do you regret getting one? Let me go first. I I think I regret getting mine. I fell into the overhyped of the having the IKEA greenhouse, having the look of it. Don't get me wrong, they're beautiful. I have one. I have two. I don't use the other one. It's still in this box, and I'll tell you why. They look beautiful space-wise for your plants. Really not worth it. 
obviously it wasn't built for the plant, so I get it. But these, look at these. This, more bang for your buck. Look at this one. I have two of these right now. I'm going to get a third one. But look how many more plants that you can put in. I have all my lights in it, my fountain, my, you know, fans, everything. Beautiful. And it was $64 plus the covering, but, you know, whatever. But look at that. So much better. This, I kind of regret it. What's your opinion? Do you regret getting yours or do you want one still? I want to know. Let me know, plant people. <laughs> we got plant mail. I had to run home from work because they finally got delivered and I am so excited for this plant. Uh, I've been wanting one for a while, just like every other plant that I have in my collection. But, yeah. okay, I opened the box. I have not looked at it. So you guys ready? There's the box. And I saw the video of it and it looked huge so i'm excited for this and i'll link everything below where i got it from who i got it from because these sellers seem pretty awesome so if this comes out pretty good totally i would totally recommend it if you guys ready you guys ready oh there's more okay ah, look at it oh beautiful philodendron white princess look at the variegation on the leaves look how big it is this thing is huge bigger than what it looked like um in the video oh wow got a new leaf coming there look at that new leaf there oh two new leaves look at that variegation is beautiful ah, i'm so excited to have this i'm so excited <laughs> Uh, I've been wanting this for a while, and I finally found one that spoke to me, which is very important. Look at that. Freaking beautiful. Roots are great. Everything. Another good day in the plant world.